From time immemorial, connection with the land was a natural state of mankind. While cultivating the land, people grew various plants so they would have something to eat. With the development of civilization, tools, mechanisms and methods of processing improved over time. Today, horses that pulled plows a hundred years back have been replaced by combines, cedars, tractors and other state-of-the-art agricultural machinery. In today's Made in Ukraine program, we will talk about how various machines for agriculture are designed and manufactured. Raw materials and components for the manufacture of agricultural machinery are supplied to this enterprise from other plants. But it is in this enterprise that such machinery undergoes the final processing phase and nodes and aggregates of agricultural machinery are made. Rolled metal is cleaned using a special shot blasting machine. This is a special machine that uses metal balls with a diameter of approximately 1 mm to cut off the incrustations or slag, paint and any other layers from the surface of the metal. After this, the material is sent for cutting. Various forms of cutting are used in the material cutting section of the factory, where both plasma and mechanical technologies are used. Plasma cutting is fully automated. The cutter head cuts out the details according to a predetermined program. Here, almost any material that will be used in the production process can be cut. The cut sections are then sent for further processing. The metal tailings, which are no longer suitable for further use in production, are sent for recycling or disposal. According to the technological process, a part of the details are sent to the drilling department, where they are drilled and passed through other technological processes. Some of the details are tooled on computer numerical control machines. About 250 units of such details are produced during one shift on such computer-controlled machines. Two such machines are serviced by one operator. Some details are produced by the method of stamping on stationary presses of different levels of power. Large stamping presses are used especially for this. The working details for tillage machines are produced in the thermal section. Details are modeled at the temperature of 800 degrees. Workers take out the heated details and place them on the stamping machine. Then the press extrudes the necessary form on the details. Then the detail is placed in a tank filled with water for cooling. After this process, the parts are sent into the so-called tempering furnace, where they remain until they assume the necessary hardness. Any machine-building production process is impossible to imagine without welding works. In the creation of agricultural machinery, welding is also of great importance. There are many welding machines intended for welding frames and various units of agricultural machinery in this workshop of the enterprise. After the corresponding works are finished, the welding units are sent for painting. But before that, they are cleaned on sandblasting equipment. This is how the painting department looks. After the parts are painted, they are moved to the chamber drying oven. Also, a powder painting chamber is installed at the enterprise. This chamber allows for achieving the ideal quality of painting of the details. After painting, the details are passed to the assembly department. This is what the section for the assembly of the Ross II harvester looks like. All the works from the first operation of frame assembly to the breaking in of the machine are done here. The next stage after assembly is run-in period, mechanical and hydraulic, and factory acceptance.
After the breaking in, the farm machinery is assigned a factory registration number and is sent to the warehouse. From the warehouse, the path for new machinery to a successful agricultural life is wide open. Happy harvesting!